Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about Google Ads audience targeting. Now, when you think of Google Ads targeting, you're probably thinking of keywords. And what a lot of people don't realize is that when you combine keywords and audiences within Google Ads, it's pretty much like a match made in heaven. Because when someone's typing in a keyword within Google, they're already showing intent. But what if you can apply an audience on top of that so that you make sure that you target specific people that are typing in the keywords that you are trying to bid on? Now, the first thing that I would say when it comes to audience targeting is um, there are three different Google segments um, and I'm going to show you how to apply them to your campaign. So once you've logged into your Google ad account, you want to select the campaign that you want your ads to, um, to have the audience apply to, and then click on audiences. Once you're on, click on audiences in the left panel, you're going to be presented with the audience page, and then you'll be prompted to click on add audience segments. And then once you select that, you will select campaign because that means you want to apply the audience onto the campaign. Um, and then from here, you'll click on browse so you can see all the different Google audience segments. Now, there are five different segments here, but the top three are really the Google audience segments and the bottom two are audience segments that you can create. Um, on your own, which we're not going to be touching on in this video because it's a lot of content. I'm only going to be focusing on the top three that we have here. So Google has these three different pre-packaged audiences, which all advertisers have access to. And it's the easiest and fastest way to pretty much get your feet wet with audiences. So let's go ahead and dive in. With detailed demographic, this goes beyond the basic age, gender, um, de de demographics and lets you dig deeper into parental status, marital status, education, home ownership status, and employment. So let's say that you only want to target homeowners, then you can go in here and click homeowners and then you would apply this audience onto your campaign. So basically whenever someone's typing in your keywords, they, they have to also be a homeowner in order to see it and that's called targeting. Now, if you're just doing observation mode and you're just observing homeowners on the campaign, you can do that as well, which I'll talk about in a bit. But just wanted to show you with homeowners um, that you can apply it here. You can also add negative audiences. So let's say you don't want any um, renters to see your ad. You can actually add these as negative audiences as well. Now. Going back here within um, the other bucket of Google audiences is affinity. So affinity audience targeting refers to people that have similar interests, hobbies, and habits. So generally, these are stable over time and really great for awareness marketing. So under affinity, these are people that have interests in all these different areas. Now you can choose any of these. But if you wanted to get a little bit more granular, you can select the drop down and they will be more specific um, into what the specific audience is. And if you wanted to get a more detailed description, you can just hover over it and then it will show who an avid investor is. So these are people actively looking to invest their money, follow financial markets and so forth. So you can add that in here. Now, um, another thing, audience that you can leverage within Google that's also super powerful is called in-market audiences. So these are what people are actively researching or planning. So this is great because people um, are looking to actually make a purchase or planning to make a purchase. So this is really great for high intent prospecting campaigns. So um, what you can do is click on that and see all the people in the, these audiences that would potentially be in market for autos and vehicles. Um, and then you can even drill down to, oh, are they specific in a, are they interested in specifically a motor vehicle or maintenance? And then within this, you can dig deeper and say, okay, are they looking into used or new? And you can go even deeper and select the brand that they'd be interested in. So this is really powerful because not only are you just 
target not only do you have the ability to target just people looking to buy a motor vehicle but you can target someone that's looking to buy a specific brand which is super powerful now um, you can just go ahead and select the audiences that you want to add and then click save um, so earlier I had mentioned about targeting and observation so you have two options within um, audience targeting in Google Ads. So you can target these audiences, meaning you only show your ads to people that are interested in affinity, um, Infinity or Hyundai vehicles that are searching for your, um, that are searching, or you have observation mode, which I recommend at the beginning of a campaign. So pretty much you're just observing how Infinity and Hyundai in market um, audiences perform on your specific ads and based off of that you can adjust the bids on those audiences so if you're seeing that Hyundai audiences are performing better than Infinity you can add a bid adjustments onto those audiences um, and or you can even just change the audience targeting to just set to targeting instead of observation now if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments and I'm happy to answer them. Thank you very much.